Due to recent criticism towards certain idols' outfits, I decided to make a video showing all the times idols were criticised for their wardrobe choices. Disclaimer: This video does not include any of my opinions, nor do these criticisms reflect my thoughts. This is a two-part video, with part one being about criticism, based on the reaction of netizens, broadcasts and media. In part two, we'll be discussing outfits that were plagiarised and controversial outfits. <laughs> Orange Caramel Orange Caramel's outfits in Bangkok City were criticised not for being outly revealing, but that the members' body lines were exposed. Pledis Entertainment responded, We tried to capture Orange Caramel's many charms by setting the music video in a funky club. We hope you see their outfits as part of fashion. Girls Days Eura When Girls Days music video for female president was released, Eura became the centre of attention for her controversial outfits. Her fans were shocked because the outfit gave the illusion that she was naked. Dream Tea Entertainment spilled the tea. Eura's outfit is a one-piece tie. She did not expose a single part of her body. Hyona Back in 2009, 4Minute performed their song Music. During that performance, Hyona's mini skirt was spotted constantly going up. Hyona was 17 at the time, causing netizens to criticise her stylist for giving her such a short dress. Very Goods Cho Hyun Cho Hyun received backlash for her cosplay of Ari from League of Legends for the Game Olympics 2019 Golden Card. Netizens complained her outfit was too revealing, while others complimented her ability to perfectly pull off the character. Her agency, JTG Entertainment, explained the organisers of the event prepared the outfit and it wasn't meant to be purposely revealing, but meant to replicate the character. Cho Hyun admitted to crying when she first saw the comments. She also posted a series of Instagram stories thanking her fans for the support. Kara During Kara's Pandora era, they were criticised for their outfits which included swimsuit light jumpsuits, nude tone jumpsuits, and the most controversial was when they turned around and took off their blazer halfway, exposing their backs. It was compared to a lingerie show. Girls' Generation for the 2011 Hallyu Dream concert, Girls' Generation wore their iconic genie outfit, however netizens didn't appreciate it, claiming it was too seductive. This left a lot of fans confused at the fact that it was the same outfits worn a year ago, yet there wasn't any controversy back then. CL Ciel's airport fashion was the centre of controversy back in 2011. Ciel wore a sweater covered in suggestive expressions such as everything, girlfriend from hell, and take my tits. Ciel also received backlash for her outfit during the leader's performance for 2009's SBS Gaio de Jun. At the time it was because she was still young, but fast forward a few years and she gets criticised again, but this time for wearing a swimsuit on broadcast, or as many netizens called it, just white panties. Ciel responded by saying, I don't feel pressure by outfits that expose skin, I'll wear it if it looks cool. Hyona. At the time, Hyona shocked the K-pop world with bubble pop, including her daring choreograph and outfit. The censorship committee demanded Hyona to change her dancing outfit in order to perform on broadcast, which resulted in Hyona cancelling her future promotions. Dal Shabet. In 2010, music programs introduced new restrictions on idols' outfits, which included free bands, shirts that reveal too much cleavage, shirts that expose the belly button, and wearing white shorts under mini skirts. In order to avoid any possible issues, Dalshabet's agency decided to change all of Dalshabet's performance outfits for their third mini album Bling Bling. G Dragon G Dragon was criticised for wearing a t-shirt printed with the words I love SEX during Mnet's 20s choice. In an interview he revealed that when he wears something he usually doesn't read all the writing and that he apologises for making viewers uncomfortable. G Dragon was criticised for his fashion again. On episode 6 of 21 TV, G Dragon appears wearing a t-shirt with a picture of a naked woman printed on it. This was later blurred out. Six Bomb Six Bomb performed in this outfit on the live streaming service Africa TV because their outfits were banned on major broadcasting stations. Sistar Sistar was criticised for their outfit at the NBC 2011 Korean Music Festival for being too short as well as the new tone fabric over their chest giving the optical illusion of bare skin. 
Although the actual outfits did not show any skin, many viewers complained that they were not family friendly. Ihuri When Ihuri revealed the teaser image for her title song Bad Girls, it received criticism because her t-shirt had f off written on it. AOA Solhyun When Dispatch revealed Solhyun and Zico's relationship, the attention quickly shifted from the couple dating to Solhyun's attire. Netizens criticised her wardrobe choices, noting that her short dress was too revealing. She still gets ridiculed for running to Zico's house dressed like that. BP Ranya Ranya's stylist was criticised for giving the group unflattering outfits which caused wardrobe malfunction. Kara Kara's jumping outfits were deemed as too sexually suggestive by broadcasting companies. Therefore, the members had to go through wardrobe changes in order to perform on Korean music shows. Sully Sully is frequently the subject of malicious comments for not wearing a bra. When asked about it on Night of Hate comments, she said, I think this is about freedom of the individual. Bras aren't good for your health, they have wires. And I want to change people's prejudice about that. Despite the hate, more netizens are applauding her stance on bras and wish they had the confidence to do so. Girls Day Girls Day were criticised for not wearing safety shorts under their short shorts, which caused them to have a wardrobe malfunction. Dream Tea Entertainment said, The stage was high up and reporters took photographs from down below so it seems that way. They also added that the outfit was not at all deliberately intended to expose. Ranya Despite it being Ranya's debut, the group already faced issues. In order to perform on broadcast, they had to change their outfit as it was deemed too sexually suggestive. Sistar During the Shady Girl promotions, Sistar were accused of not wearing anything under their dresses on their live Inkigai performance. However, they did, but it turns out they just changed the safety shots to match the colour of the dress because their previous shot, which was black, was too distracting. Dalshabet During Dalshabet's Be Ambitious choreograph, the members ripped their skirts to reveal shots underneath. Some netizens and broadcast stations view this as too provocative. So in order to continue promoting, they had to modify their choreograph and stage outfits. Hyona Hyona was criticised for showing her animated underwear in a shopping mall commercial. Stella When the teaser for Stella's UFO was released, they received backlash because their outfit resembled school uniform. Viewers felt that the length of the girl's skirt wasn't appropriate for their choreograph. Stella's agency stated, they were wearing shorts underneath while dancing. It was not intended to cause any exposure. We are considering making changes to the current stage outfits. However, no changes were made. Izzy One Fans weren't happy when Izzy One stylists gave the members what looked to be wedding dresses on the red carpet. Most importantly, the dresses didn't fit them properly. Speaking of wedding, Sunhua and Irene. Former secret member Sunhua and Red Velvet's Irene were both criticised for wearing white to a wedding. Wearing white to a wedding is considered unmannerly as it might be viewed as overshadowing the bride, who typically wears white. Exos Kai Kai's Kaio De Jun outfit received mixed reaction with a few netizens thinking he was wearing a bra, while others complained it looked dirty. His stylist responded with, Honestly, there was originally a shirt underneath. How should I say this? He just looked sexy without it, so we took it off. Red Velvet Red Velvet's stylist received backlash after the members performed Bad Boy in short school uniforms. Not only that, but many complained that the members' outfit were too short for the cold weather. NCT's Win Win When NCT attended Music Bank recording, one member caught everyone's attention. Win Win wore a flannel shirt with the words MILF Hunter printed on them. M-I-L-F stands for Mother I'd Like To Many netizens felt it was inappropriate. Well, I wonder how they'll feel about these. Girls' Generation Tiffany and Taeyeon In 2011, Tiffany and Taeyeon performed a cover of Lady Marmalade. They dressed in Moulin Rouge inspired outfits to match the theme of the original song. This sparked controversy as many believed their outfits were provocative. However, that didn't stop the girls from covering it again in an episode of K-Pop Star in 2012. EXID Jeonhua In 2013, various online communities uploaded photos of Jeonhua. How could the CEO make a 17-year-old wear something like this? The photos were taken the year before when she was 17, making netizens question whether it was appropriate for her to wear something that reveals her figure. Jung Ji Sung Young Jisong attended the donation ceremony for the Korean Heart Foundation. 
He donated 100 Korean won for a heart disease patient. While it looks like an honest mistake, he was criticized for wearing a pierced heart shirt at an event for heart disease patients. Jokwon Jokwon has never been one to shy away from expressing himself and isn't afraid to challenge the gender norms in Korean entertainment. However, this doesn't come without criticism and online malicious comments. When Jokwon took on the role of a drag queen in Priscilla, it was met with a lot of negativity as well as his appearance on Golden Tambourine. He explained in multiple messages that he was a singer, not a drag queen, and that the musical isn't just a gay show, but a sincere musical that portrays family, friendship, love, paternal love, and emotions. Miss A. Miss A's earlier stage outfits weren't well received by the public that they had to be redesigned to be more tame. Ace. During an episode of Mix 9, Yang Hyun Suk criticized Ace for their stable hot pants. Yang Hyun Suk said, Hot pants are a bit questionable, even for me. Why? Ace's Dong Hyun quickly fired back. Oh, but I saw Winner Sun Bin Nim wearing them during Love Me Love Me promotions. And Yang Hyun Suk just Red Velvet's Joy Joy was called out for her armpit sweat stains. During one of these nights, the members wore warm outfits which can get really hot under all those stage lights. When one netizen saw this, they posted it online with the caption, Ah, Joy so dirty. Luckily, many netizens came to her defence with comments like, Do you not sweat? How does your family survive in the summer when it gets so dirty? Now that we know Joy is human, everyone except those who are driving, put your hands up if you sweat. Hyorin Hyorin was heavily criticised for wearing a one-piece outfit at the 2018 KBS Drama Awards. Many felt it was inappropriate for such an event. Media also mentioned the awkward reaction of the actors in the audience. Hyorin talked about it on Radio Star. The outfit was handmade by a designer and it's the only one that exists in the world. It's an outfit I purchased because I wanted to wear something amazing at my solo concert. I wanted to wear the most luxurious and amazing outfit I owned at that event. However, this isn't the first time. She was also criticised for her outfit on Sketchbook. And the whole reason why I decided to make this video... Mamamoo Hwasa Hwasa was criticised for this outfit, this outfit, this, this, this and this and probably many more as well. When netizens referred to her outfit as butt naked, she responded with an Instagram photo of her butt. And most recently, when netizens complained about her overexposed airport outfit, she responded by going braless to the airport, which also garnered attention. She's just being herself. She often mentions that she doesn't care about following beauty standards. Luckily, more netizens are starting to support that. And I'm going to end this video with Hwasa's words. I don't really think the outfit itself is important, but more, how should I dress for the stage to look the greatest? Thank you for watching.